So I'm actually really salty because I can't replicate the true unboxing experience because I, I recorded about seven minutes for this video and uh, then I accidentally tapped the wrong button and it took me back to uh, a menu and um, I lost my recording. But yeah, so this packaging it came in, just basic black packaging. There's a piece of paper in there that tells me what the contents are. Contemporary tapes sticker and I love stickers so I was really excited for this but then we got vaporwave Christmas story I got this for Christmas from uh, one of my friends true bro but yeah it's cool I love the art I like the labeling a lot there's some good names on here too like uh, haircuts for men um, right in the mesh like paths Twin Pines Mall um, uh, I don't know if it's like OM or like Ami 5 or Amis or something like that, but I like them. There's a lot of times I don't know how to pronounce things for like Vaporwave because I only see it in text form. So I just kind of figure my pronunciation is the pronunciation. But yeah, if we pop it open, looks nice. See, it's a, there's a big tape reel on there. So it's probably kind of a long album, which is cool. I also, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I brought some of my favorites along. Also, sorry about foot. Uh, I brought some of my favorites to show you guys. So I'm not sure what this album is actually called, but I really like it. Uh, it's a collaboration between Telepath and Vape Error. It's really, really good. It's soothing and kind of eerie. Um, it's a good album to get lost in. I'm a big fan of this one. It also has uh, the actual art on the inside. Um, I've... I love it when the cassettes have two. Um, notice this one has screws in it. I'm not sure if that's a quality thing or if it's a, so that you can like mass produce the reels or something and throw them in there. I'm not sure what that is, but some of the cassettes have them, some don't. This one also has like a white plastic backing to it and most of them are clear. Like most of them are kind of like this. It's kind of the same design, which is cool. Another one I like, this is White Sample by Mathematicoi. This one's from No Problema Tapes. See the No Problema logo there. They're in Santiago, Chile. And I, ha I don't order much from them because mainly uh, the post office is a real pain about getting them to me. They keep wanting to like hold them at the post office and then grill me about what my address actually is. Things like that. But this is a really good album. Uh, it's really just kind of like heavy analog EDM. It's not really vaporwave or anything like that, but I like it. So it's a good one. Virtual Miami 2.0. Boy, boy, this is a classic. This is a Lost Angles cassette. And notice the trend here. A lot of them have this white on it. This one is not disappointing or anything because it's such a good album, but hold on. Let me get this one open. There we go. Sometimes they like to stick. But underneath, there's no there's no reverse. I'm a big big fan of the reverse, just because they're usually cool. That's a good one. Um, this one's a business casual. Business casual. I think I order from them the most. This is Blood Wave. Um, one thing I do like about this one, outside of being outstanding music, is the art on the tape itself. Like you got the blue on this side, and then when you turn it over. You've got the, uh, got like the tree and the pink and it's nice. It's nice. I like it. It's good stuff. You also have the reverse side. You can actually turn the business casual ones, um, inside out, which is cool. There's a few that I've done that for. I don't think I have any of them with me though, like over here, but you could totally do it. Another Lost Angles one. This is a like Gansfeld. There's some really cool beats and just like ideas on this album. Also, we Green Boys. I, I like how it looks. It has a Stack Overflow, um, like produced track on here. It's I was gonna say feature, and then I read it and I was like, no, it's not a feature, but it's really good. Um, also, this one has a uh, this one has a fold. Of, like this is on the inside, but as you can see, it's just a fold. But the album's good, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. Uh, one thing I do like about, uh, yeah, I think I do like about Lost Angles a lot is that um, they will 
keep producing a tape so it's not always a limited run. Some of their stuff is limited runs, but it's not exclusively limited runs, which is cool. Um, I was, I was going to grab one of the big boys, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. Love this one here. Uh, this is Aki Gohara Online. I was called Mori. And uh, it's just great ambient. Um, it's just super ambient, like calm music. And I really, I don't know, something to like listen to when you've had a bad day. And it's just, you can kind of lose yourself for a minute. It's really good. Uh, Aki Gohara Online, if you don't know, which you probably do if you're watching this, same guy as Dan Mason. So it's good shit. It's quality. Uh, let's go to a different cassette manufacturer here. Not manufacturer, but a different label. Um, from, like, Limousine, Wrestling Wave. I love this album. This is a really cool one. Um... This is the first run, but look at that. Also, one thing that's nice, it doesn't matter what side you're on. Uh, it's the same on both sides. So it'll, I think it's a 90 minute, maybe not 90, maybe like a 60 minute tape or 45 minutes, something like that. Um, but on the other side, it just starts the album again, which is really cool. Like you don't you don't have to flip it. There's no B side. It's just all all on one, which I really like. And then the inside, it's got limousine, got your track listing. Uh, the best track on this album is Excellence. I'm a big Bret Hart fan. But yeah, it gets a this is a good one. The pile is growing. I have I have over fifty of these now. Also, boom. This one, I actually had to replace the case because when it came, it was broken. I'm not real mad about that. It's not a big deal to me. But uh, 3D Die Hero, 3D Blast, it's so good. Like, there's there's like a who's who of features on this dang thing. Oh, no. Almost ruined everything. Nintendo seal of quality. But, yeah, like, hold on. Let me get a little focus for me. But yeah, it's got like waterfront dining, haircuts for men. Like it's, this is a good album. Dan Mason's on here. This one, if uh, you haven't heard it, you should hear it because it's great. And then, uh, boy, Purgatory, Cobalt Road. I got this in a biz box a long time ago. I want to say it was the one with this album, Haircuts for Men. I think these came in the same one. Um, I'm, I'm actually like 50% sure on that. I'm not 100% sure. But they're both really, really good. Um, this one, like the first song kind of reminds me of like a 90s car commercial, but like in a good way. Also, I don't know why it's B-sides. Uh, I think I was just lazy when I was putting that up. Let's turn that over. Also, the inside is just, just green. With some... Uh, some stuff going on there. Yeah, then I also really love this album here, which is Cobalt Road, Purgatory. And uh, like the first time I heard it, I was like, this is cool. And then look, I kept putting it back in. Yeah, this is definitely a BizBox one. You can see BizBox edition. But yeah, I just kept listening to it and listening to it. And then, you know, by, <laughs> by the end of... Uh, having it for a couple of weeks i'm just like this is a really good album really good like if you haven't listened to that one you, you definitely should this one's also business casual um slowed midnight this one hooked me with the with the, with the opening track um it's just like you know this one's like you got talent you got the guts and it just launches into just good music it's really really nice i like it a lot cape coral slowed midnight Worth a, worth a listen. We're gonna we're gonna do uh, another one of my favorites here. This is uh, an album by Outside at Night. It's called The Castle. This is a, an Illuminated Paths cassette, and I didn't change this one out. It actually came in this one. Um, I don't know like how they do theirs. I I it feels like they go to like a thrift store and buy a bunch of old cassettes just to have the old cases. I'm not sure if that's true, but like if it is, it's awesome. It's definitely like a unique touch. 
Um, something that I find a little frustrating about illuminated paths is this is how you tell it's your A side, right? It'll be like this. I don't know if they still do this, but it'll be like this. And then your B side, they'll have the cutout where they cut this out. That's how you know it's your B side. Uh, but yeah, this is The Castle by Outside at Night. It is a phenomenal album. Um, last time I checked, there were still some for sale, which bummed me out because there's only like, they only made 25 of these, but like, it's really, really good. It's just, it doesn't get much, um, like, like, there's no publicity behind it or anything like that. It's not like a, it's, it's not like, um, like a, a luxury elite release or like a Dan Mason where people usually hear about it and go, oh shit, Dan Mason put out a new album. Uh, this is Outside at Night, The Castle. It's really, really good. It, it, like, it kind of takes you on a journey through a castle in its own way. Like, each song is kind of named after its own area of the castle or its own inhabitant of the castle. Like, there's, like, the castle ghost or, like, the lovely maiden, uh, the castle pub, things like that. And the, 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 the tracks kind of give you a feel for where you are, which I think is really cool. It's a cool idea. I'm a big fan. Um, speaking of Luxury Elite earlier... Boom. This isn't actually Luxury Elite. It's the Comfort Zone remixes, but... Yo. It's really, really nice. Um, I like this cassette a lot, too. I love the have the clear pink. Let's get it open. Oh, no. I'm not actually right-handed. I'm using my left to hold the camera. But now I don't get stuck. There we go. But, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Love that clear pink. But... Yeah, it's uh, it's all just good ass remixes of uh, Luxury Elite, and basically the upscale ones are my favorite because I think that's my favorite track by Luxury Elite. But it's a it's a good one. Uh, why are you zooming? Camera, stop that. There we go. Back to One X. And this is another one that I'm just in love with. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, I love this album. Uh, it's Nightwalker by Bratia. I don't know how you say that. Bratia? Bratia. Bratia. I don't know if it's a European or something. but It's really good. Um, it's worth listening to for uh, this track here, Radio and Nightwalker. But the entire thing is great. Just those ones will get stuck in your head. If you haven't listened to it, you should, because it's great. Also, because it's a business casual release. Yo, you got that reverse art in there if you wanted to change it out. Again, this one has the screws on it. I'm not sure if that's just a batch thing or what. And lastly, we got a heavy hitter. Boom. Late Night Delight. Luxury Elite, St. Pepsi. I have the uh, black and gold edition. I think it's called After Midnight, maybe. I'm not sure. But this actually does have bonus tracks that you can't get online. Uh, you can't get online. I mean, you can from some YouTube videos and things like that, but like they're not available for like an online release. And I love this album, especially when we get into the St. Pepsi side. Um, I Can't Afford is just stupid, stupid good. Uh, but yeah, these are just some of my favorites, plus a little, I guess, not really unboxing of uh, Vaporwave Christmas Story, which I'm going to listen to later. Uh, if you stuck around for all, like, 15-ish minutes of this, like, thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Check it out. Cassettes are where. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Subscribe, or don't, or leave a like, or maybe. I don't know. Bye.